Roger Daguna picks it up, kicks it over to Brazen, intercepted by Spooner. Taguna picks up that pass and looks to move it forward. Avoids a back check by Skinner. And Taguna has a shot. Kalzinski stopped, and it's in! The Dayton Demons score against Kalzinski, who can't believe that counted, but that is the first goal for Dayton on the night, and they now trail the Watertown Privateers 2-1. And even greater news, Jesse Felton back on the ice. He is A-OK. -okay. Two to one, Watertown. 124 left to go. The referee talking over the line, Lud Lightman. And that looks like that's going to count. We'll see who scored that for Dayton, but the lead has been slashed in half by the Demons as they score with 124 left to go in the second period. McCarthy leaves it behind and it will be stopped by Erickson, actually stopped by the linesman, but prying it away is Olette. He's got Harris towards his left and he tries to dump it in. The net comes loose as Harris comes in and this might rile up some fisticuffs. Jeff Rose is slow to get up, he's out and we have McCarthy prying up and right now Wall has the privateer Dane Erickson on his knees and Wall smothers Erickson down on the ice. Harris came crashing in, hunting him home through the net. Luckily everyone is A-OK. -okay. Wall put Erickson down on the ice. Not a fist was flown in the air, but Wall took him down. And Brett Wall going to the sin bin. Some of the Dayton fans that stand over the penalty boxes Giving Brett Wall some taps on the glass for encouragement. Erickson's also in there as well for Watertown. Uh, three to one, Watertown lead. Mafus is on the near side, kicks it over near corner. Tolly picks it up for Watertown far corner. He's surrounded by white jerseys and it's picked up by Hicks of Dayton. Jared Hicks controls it to the behind the goal line it goes for Battaglia. Pelche at the point. Kicks it back over. Battaglia has it. 24 seconds on the five on four. Mafus circles it over. Pelche again. McClure has it. Back for Mafus. And the faceoff circle. Gobbled up. And it's in. It's tipped in. Kalzinski couldn't get it in time, but no, the referees say no, it doesn't count. They're saying no, the referee, the referee's saying no, it doesn't count. Looks like Bridge is getting in with Hicks. Mafus is coming at the back of Spooner. And the referee explained Hicks, he's saying he kept it down. I think Wilkinson said it doesn't count because it's a high stick. Mafus getting into it with Spooner. Spooner at the board, we have fisticuffs. Mafus taking down Spooner, quickly down on the ice. Mafus holding him in a, in a tie. And Mafus and uh, Spooner tangled up by the stripes. Fans not too happy with that no goal call. They're saying it was tipped in by a high stick. And the, and the power play clock, Mafus with both hands over his head, he heads to the sin bin. The power play clock kept ticking down as play stopped. 10.03 left to go in the third. Colby Spooner is in the box for fighting along with Ahmed Mafus. Mafus holds his head with his hands, mocking Colby Spooner. Chase Tippins ready to get out. The Stripes talking it over. We'll see if there's any game misconducts from this. That fight pumps up the Dayton fans. Most of them are on their feet. But the Watertown Privateers are stolen away the show thus far. Three to one, Watertown. 10.03 left to go in the third. Eight seconds left on that power play. 
to move it forward. Jonathan Giuliano kicks it. He's got no one in front. Sudden score! Jonathan Giuliano, his sixth goal on the season, and that puts Dayton down by one. Three to two, Watertown, 6.36, left to go in the third. Keep in mind, Watertown still has a minute 34 on that five on four major, which means if they score, that doesn't end the power play. Mafus has to serve the entire sentence. But I tell you, this is about a couple people more than last night's crowd, but they are loud tonight. And this will take us to our media timeout. He'll reach for it. McClure trying to keep it away from Harris. McClure sips it around. Olette, he misses it. Felton, one privateer directly in front. It's a two-on-one. Felton trying to get to the Laguna. Nice defensive stop by Spooner, however. Felton still has it. He gets cut off by Dane Erickson. Tangling as Felton lands on the ice. Fans want a call on Erickson. They're not getting one, but Taguna has it. Shot, score! Roger Taguna on the five on four major. Ties this up at three. 537 left to go in the third. Wow, oh wow, Watertown with a three minute power play on Ahmed Mafus' major for fighting and Demons have struck back to back to tie this game up and Coach Karazowicz patting the back of his players. This team has been electrified with 537 left to go in the third but Watertown still with a Five on four, advantage for the next 35 seconds. Face off one by the Privateers. First blue line. He starts off slow, picks up speed against Jeff Rose. Skinner, shot, stopped by Jeff Rose as Skinner breaks his hockey stick in half. And Skinner smiles. That's a no for Watertown. Quickly picks up the puck. Jeff Rose comes out of his crease, loses the balance of it, and he is denied by Jeff Rose. No. Off the left pad of Rose, Olette started to lose control of it in the slot. He still has Mafuz talking to the referee, not too happy with that. Jesse Fountain talking it over too. I believe the game's over, Mafuz Talking it over, I'm not sure why. As Watertown started head towards the locker room, Brian Marks upset. Fans sticking around, wait a minute. Stripes talking it over, Mafus. What's going on right now? Don't turn away quite yet. What's Mafus talking to the Stripes about? Fans leaning over the glass. Chris McCarthy says, come on, let's get out of here. Mafu's not too happy. Don't know, Wilkinson. Jesse Felton also standing in along with Anthony Battaglia. Talking to Wilkinson, along with the two linesmen. Don't know what the referee could say right now. Trying to figure out what's going on right now. Fans are staying around, some of them are leaving. And the referee's coming out. Mafu's chopping his stick on the ice. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? Are we going to have another round of a shootout? Are we not quite done with hockey here tonight? Saturday night's all right for hockey. I think Wilkinson is going back to the locker rooms and he's pulling back to the teams. Come back, folks. We're not done quite yet. I think they're going to say, add another round. Coach Karazowicz is hanging around the Zamboni Doors entrance. 
Olette and Giuliano for the Privateers and the Demons still on the ice in the Dayton slot. So right now, waiting for it right here. The ref stopped it after three rounds. Lee McClure pumping his way up on the ice. Pumping up this Dayton fan base. We've only had three rounds of a shootout. Like I said, I didn't think three was it unless you scored all three and the other team didn't. But Brian Kalzinski makes his way slowly back to the ice. And the linesman talking it over. Fans staying by. Most of section 22 leaning over the glass right in front of us. So right now we're waiting on the players to come back. Want to remind you that tomorrow's game has been postponed because of an incoming winter storm. Lee McClure tangle up with Dustin Skinner. Playfully, Dayton Demons players will be at Riverscape downtown Dayton between 1 and 2 p.m. You can come skate or hang out with your favorite Demons and get those players' autographs. Here come the players. We are not done with a shootout. Popping it up is Lee McClure. This crowd is loud. Coach Trevor Karazowicz, the Dayton Demons fall in a shootout tonight. Four to three is the final score in favor of the Privateers. Coach, the first shootout for the Demons, very, very tough loss. But in the third period, Dayton comes back with back-to-back -back shorthanded goals on a five-on-four major penalty. You got to like that. But what was your whole opinion on the entire game? Uh, again, I don't think we came out and played too well. Um, I don't. I, we probably played maybe five minutes a period, maybe 15 minutes the whole game. Uh, our goaltender kept us into it again, Rosie. Um, it just it is what it is. I, like I said about consistency, we weren't consistent tonight at all. And uh, we came back and we had a couple shorthanded goals that actually got us back into the game. And then we should have took it from there, but we just laid back. So the Demons lose their first shootout on the night. Watertown in four rounds had two. You guys didn't have any on the night. So... With this being said, tomorrow's game against Watertown is postponed until January 30th because of an impounding uh, winter storm, impounding, incoming winter storm. It'll pound tomorrow, but I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh. Anyway, incoming winter storm tomorrow, game postponed January 30th. Coach, what does that mean the team will do between then and the 26th when you're back home at Hera? Uh, again, we've got a lot of road games, so we'll be on the road. You know what I mean? Uh, we've been so far obviously sufficient on the road, so it's been going well. If we could just keep some wins coming up, and we'll be back on the 26th. Now, what's some of the things you guys are going to work on in practice uh, as the weeks go by? Uh, basically, just everybody's got to come out and support each other. We have two guys that are way too spread out. We have one guy going. we got a team support. We'll be fine. We just had a minor break, and we'll be back at it. Now, you guys be safe tomorrow. Uh, next home game is 26 against Danbury, and you guys will be at Riverscape on January 25th. That's a nice arena, not arena, but a nice ice rink in downtown Dayton right by the ballpark. It's a great event, so if you're not planning on coming on out, you really should because the Demons will be there. You can get autographs. You can skate. I heard Bones might be there trying to skate too. Hopefully a lot better than the first game, I'd say, eh? Yeah, everybody will come out. Obviously, it's going to be a good time, a good skate, and uh, it's obviously for a good cause. So uh, we'll be there, and everybody else should be too. Now, we saw Jesse Fallon head back to the training room. I believe it was in the second period. And Ahmed Mahfouz played again tonight, and you said in the pregame interview yesterday he wasn't quite 100%. How are those guys doing? Uh, Feltz just took a couple stitches in his nose, and uh, Foos is obviously back. He's His knee's still bothering him, but like I said yesterday, him at 50% is better than most guys in the league, so we're going to keep him going. Coach, as always, thanks for your time. Stay safe during this winter storm coming in, and look forward to seeing you back next Sunday, all right? Yep, see you, buddy. Thanks. You're watching Dayton Demons Television.